Hi yogis and welcome to this video that is all about a pose called side crow pose and it's an arm balance but it's with, it's with a twist so you're not just getting all the upper body strength from the arm balance but you're also getting the detoxifying effect of the twisting and you can do it two ways when you do it both ways and um, have fun with it practice it and enjoy um, the journey towards it so from here you can spend a little bit of time getting centered and relaxing before you begin or you can come straight down hug your knees in towards your chest so apanasana just hugging your knees in and in fact take a sorry, not as um wrapped around clasp and then as you inhale just let your knees move away from your chest and as you exhale pull them back in inhale move them away so just doing this a few times stretching out the um glutes grounding down through the sacrum And then opening your arms out and squeezing your legs together, big breath in, push your lower back into the floor and then exhale, twist. Keeping both um, shoulders down on the floor. But you're not letting your legs touch down. You're using it, yes it's a twist, but it's also core. So you're going to engage your core to control the descent of your legs and then to give you the strength to pull your knees back up and then stay on that first side on your left side just take a few breaths here and think about this is your, your right side your top side can you twist coming from the left side of your waist so it's a core movement it's an inner body movement and then big breath in and exhale back up drop your knees over to the right So keep, see if you can get your knees flush with one another. Keep squeezing the legs together. And then think about rolling into the twist from the right side of your belly. And then come back. And then from here, I'm gonna lift my head and shoulders and I'm gonna bring my knees over towards the right and then hook my right elbow into this left thigh and bring my hands forwards and push as if I'm trying to push the floor away I'm squeezing my legs and I'm twisting and I'm using this um, kind of pivot with my right hand um, right arm against my left leg and then release come up and take my legs over to the left and then hook my left elbow around my right thigh and bring my hands forwards and then squeeze squeeze it <laughs> the thigh. so this is what pro pose looks like but your hands are on the floor and relax and then from here we're rocking up just coming back and sitting back on my knees heels and then from here bringing my arms out or you can just have your hands in prayer position. So I'm going to exhale to the side and inhale back. Exhale to the side and inhale back. So I'm going to do it quite quickly so that it becomes like a cleansing breath. I'm going to be um, exhaling quite forcefully. So. longer braids were just getting a bit involved there and then from here some wrist stretches so um curling the toes under and then slowly lowering the heels of the hands down and really pushing the floor away so straight arms pushing the floor away and then from here just start to do some circles and it's not really a hip opener it's just more about how much you come forwards and keep rocking the weight towards the inner edges of your hands, so towards the thumb side of your hands. 
and you're hugging your hands and your arms towards one another and then go in the opposite direction and then rock forwards and back so again it's not so much about the movement coming back it's about that movement coming forwards and then turn your fingers back and from here you're going to rock back to sit back onto your heels and really stretch into your fingers and then rock forwards so this time the emphasis is on the rocking back you're only rocking forwards enough to get the heels of your hands back onto the floor and then from here turning your fingers to face the long edge of your mat and sway side to side and then forwards and back side to side and then this is the killer for me bringing the back of your hand to the floor so this is the wrist that I broke a few months ago and this side I can get my arm straight, I can take some weight down through that wrist, the back of the wrist. For this right hand, it takes a while for me to gradually get that arm straight, you see. So I'm not able to take as much weight down through it and I'm certainly not able to rock forwards and back yet. But, you know, it's just practice, okay? And then from here, I'm going to bring my right leg back, big breath in. And as I exhale, I'm gonna kick. So I'm gonna use my hamstring to kick my heel in. Then I'm gonna use my quadriceps, pull it into my chest, and then across. Inhale back, exhale, pull it in, take it across. Inhale. Pull it in, take it across, inhale back, pull it in, step the right foot forwards. And then from here, inhale, reach the arms up. And as you exhale, hands to your heart, inhale, twist to the right. So just like I was doing in that Kriya before, and then lean forwards, and I'm going to hook my left arm around the outside of my right leg. Lift my right elbow up, push my right hand down into my left. I'm squeezing my outer hips for stability in the core, and then I'm using the core to deepen the twist. And then bring your left fingertips down to the floor and open up a little bit deeper into the twist. And then from here, start to straighten this um, right leg and come into a twisting half splits. Not the easiest transition. And then come back, bring my right knee back. And then from here, some twisting as I take my hips and my shoulders towards one another. Good, and then I'm gonna repeat that little flow again. So inhale, left leg back, kick the heel in, draw the quadriceps it up and then tap inhale reach across exhale bring it in tap inhale back in tap last one reach back exhale step forwards same thing inhale come up exhale hands to the heart use the core lean forwards and then hook that right elbow around the outside of the left leg Pull, lift the left elbow up, push the left hand down and spin deeper into the twist. And then from here, right fingertips down, left arm lifts. And then start to straighten that left leg, right hands down at the side, staying in the twist. Lots of core stability now, so really squeeze those outer hips towards one another. And then from here, re-bend the left knee, Plant your hands, slide the left knee back. Come up into downward facing dog. 
and from your downward facing dog stretch everything out to start and then inhale lift your heels and as you exhale you're going to swivel them to the left but then you're going to bend your knees but you're going to push your hips back inhale back exhale push so again it's that bent knee core a little bit of core as well inhale exhale one more to each side inhale back exhale one more inhale back exhale and release good and then from here i'm going to inhale reach my right leg up and back and then exhale plank pose tap my left tricep inhale up and back exhale coil in push the floor away tap trying to get as high as you can exhale pull in tap inhale reach up pull in step the right foot forward so this time we're going to do exactly the same thing but we're coming into a high lunge inhale reach your arms up really use this back leg exhale hands to your heart inhale lean forwards hook your elbow around and then same thing you're pushing i'm pushing my right hand into my left i'm really using that left leg and then i'm twisting from there and then again take your left hand down open up And then from here, I'm going to straighten both legs, keeping my hands walking over to the right. Big, big stretch again for this whole um, right leg and the outer hip. A little bit of a counter pose. And then I'm going to walk my hands all the way around to the side. And then left hand in the centre and right arm lifts. Right hand down, left arm lifts. And walking myself back, step back, inhale, plank pose. So let's put some chaturangas in because that's the shape of the arms and the action of the arms. Coming forwards, halfway, up dog and down. Right, so inhale, keep sure your feet are hip width apart. Exhale, bend. Inhale, back and twist. Two more on each side. And back. And then from here, inhale, left leg lifts exhale floating forwards into your plank same action pull the knee in cross to the right inhale up and back exhale and tap inhale up and back exhale tap inhale up and back exhale left foot steps inhale come up Reaching your arms up. So set this back leg up. That's your support. Exhale. Hands to your heart. And then from here, lean forwards. Keep squaring off the hips. Hook that right elbow around. Lift the left elbow. Use the back leg. And twist. And then, ooh. <laughs> And then bring your right fingertips to the floor and reach your left arm back. Big, big twist. And then slowly straightening both legs and bringing the left hand down as well. So I'm trying to square off my hips. My hands are over to the left, so it's a twist. Again, little twist in your flank stretch. And then walking all the way around. And this time, I'm going to come into the twist. 
but I'm going to wrap this top arm around towards my opposite leg and then bring my opposite hand other hand to the opposite leg and fold over and release right hand down left arm up wrap it around and then from here take the other hand to the other leg and fold it so it doesn't matter whether you're you know able to do this second version if you're not able to do the second version then repeat what we did on the other side and then release turn back over this left leg plant your hands inhale plank pose exhale chaturanga inhale upward dog exhale downward facing dog so just taking a few breaths here in your um, downward facing dog and then from here you're going to inhale come forwards to your plank pose and you're going to hover your right knee and then come up onto your left fingers and then from here you're going to bring your right knee and your left elbow to tap and back and tap and back tap and back and you're trying to keep your hips as level yeah so you probably have one side that wants to dip down a bit more so again it's that twisting action good and back to your downward facing dog so inhale lift your right leg and exhale step your right foot through warrior one so coming back to an upright position inhale reach your arms up and exhale take your right arm on top of your left inhale lift up and then exhale hook your elbow your left elbow to the outside of your right thigh and again I'm wrapping my right sit bone underneath I'm rolling my left hip forwards and then from here I'm going to unravel my arms as I come up inhale spin back to the ball of this left foot and as I exhale I'm going to step into this right foot and then either twist and hold on to this left knee or reach down for the foot and come into the full pose and then slowly release and then you want to step that left leg back and then in lift my right leg up again and then from here I'm going to spin so that I'm on the outside edge of my left foot and then I'm going to bring my right foot down for Vashisthasana. Pick up this left side of my waist. And then from here, I'm going to swap. So my right foot is going to be down. And then from here, I'm going to inhale, tap the back of this left um, tricep. And exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. <coughs> for three and two and one and from here come back to down facing dog so just you can swivel your heels and maybe not bend your knees just stretch out sides of the waist and then from here inhale left leg lifts exhale draw your knee in step your left foot forwards plant your right foot inhale warrior one exhale take your left arm over your right really use this back foot inhale lift up and then exhale come forwards and then take your um, right elbow to the outside of your um, left leg and then really wrap this left sit bone under and push through this back foot And then from here, inhale, my arms back up, pivot on this um, back foot, 
And then from here, I'm gonna step into my left foot, bring my right knee in, and then either hold on to the outside of that right leg, or maybe reach down for the foot and come into the full expression of revolved hand to toe pose. And then from here, I'm gonna sweep that right leg back and then I'm going to lift my left leg up and I'm going to pivot so I'm on the outside edge of my right foot and then come into Vashisthasana, lifting through the right side of the waist and then from here I'm going to swap so my left foot is on the floor and then on the inhale I'm going to bring my right knee to my right tricep, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, Inhale, one more. Good, and back. So from here, plank pose. Inhale, exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. And exhale, down facing dog. So from here, I'm just gonna walk my hands back to my feet. So I'm gonna bring my feet together and I'm gonna bend my knees. So from here, I'm going to come into chair pose and then I'm going to twist. So I'm going to bring, in fact, I'm going to come to the, more to the front of the mat. So I'm going to be in the twist here. So this is the um, variation where your leg is supported on both of your arms but it needs more twisting action through the torso. So from here, I'm going to start to lift my heels and bring this left hand down, really hook, just like I've been doing, and then right hand. So my, my hands are like shoulder width apart. And then from here, I'm going to tip. So can you see both of my elbows are supporting this right leg? I'm going to lean forwards. Now I'm going to keep the twist and I'm gonna lift my legs up and release, okay? So then you can do that on the other side. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, open your hands <coughs> to your heart and then twist. So you're gonna hook the right elbow around the outside of the left leg, okay, opening your arms up. And then from here, bending your knees so now it's my right arm that's still hooked and my hands are like shoulder width apart. And then I'm gonna support that left leg with both um, arms, making like a shelf for it. And then I'm gonna lift up and back, okay. And then maybe just have a little dangle. <laughs> just stretch out your spine for a moment. And then from here, I'm gonna step my right foot back and then I'm going to bring my left foot behind or next to my right and then from here I'm going to turn both of my knees towards the back of the mat and my hands are going the other way so this arm is going to be hooked uh, underneath this thigh and then this hand is going to be a lot further away so now I'm going to start to lean into this hand and pick up the legs and put them down. So from here, I can step back out into my straddle. Just have a little rest between sides. And then from here, I'm gonna step the right foot to meet the left and spin my feet towards the front of the mat. So it doesn't need as much twisting and then my right hand is further away. And then from here, I'm gonna to start to lean into it, and then I'm gonna round my spine and pick up my legs. And back. So I don't know whether you notice, but if you've got any kind of wrist sensitivity, I've got the heels of my hands up on the edge of my mat, which just takes some of the pressure off, mainly because of this right wrist. It, you know, it um, still needs a little bit more work. And then from here, just stretching out 
the hips in the opposite way. So pressing your elbows into your inner thighs, lifting your chest up towards your thumbs. And then slowly sit down. So a couple of stretches to finish. I'm going to take my right leg out, bring my left foot in. And then you can have a break underneath this right elbow or you can bring your um, elbow down. You're turning towards this left leg and then stretching your left arm um, as if you could reach your right foot. And it, it doesn't matter whether you do reach your right foot. If you do, you can kind of use, it's a little bit like we were doing in a twist, you're pushing that elbow into the leg or even walking it further away so that you get more of a twist or you can not touch the foot and just do some little pulses. So you kind of move in a little bit further than your end range of movement and then coming back. And then coming all the way up, switching sides, left leg out, right foot in. Same thing, elbow down, looking towards this right leg. So you keep your chest rolling open, keeping your right hip anchored down. So my, my hip, you can, you know, you can see that, you can see it wants to lift up. So I'm gonna not go as far into the twist and use the pulsing version. So my hips anchored down, I'm just reaching and stretching. And then by the time I've done that, I'm able to keep the hip down and reach my foot. And then here you can come up. So from here, you're gonna come all the way down onto your back. And before you do your Shavasana, you're gonna do another stretch for the sides of the body. So it's called banana pose. It's really a yin pose. You're gonna take your feet across to the left and then your upper body across to the left, but you want to keep both hips on the floor and holding onto your right wrist with your left hand and just crossing your right foot over your left. And then it's a really lovely, it's a very big stretch. I find that this is very intense, but then because you're completely um, lying down on the floor, it feels much more passive. Torso over, take the legs over, get both hips down, and rest on that side. Really relax into it. Feel the effects of all of that twisting, all of that detoxification. Feel the strength in your arms, the empowerment. If you did manage to lift up in and fly from a moment in your sacro, the empowerment of of, and the uplifting energy of being able to, you know, achieve that. And even if it didn't happen today, it will happen. It's just practice. And I never used to be able to do this pose for ages. I couldn't do this pose. And then slowly come back and <coughs> relax yourself out into Shavasana. <clears throat> Take some really big sighs out with the breath out. Really relaxing. Just softening. Letting everything go. stay as long as you can and then when you're ready to come out big stretch and bring your knees in 
roll to the side. Couple of breaths there. And then when you're ready, you can see yourself up to a seat. So thank you for sharing that practice with me. I really hope that you enjoy that journey. So the, the practice up to the point where you try the pose is all of the journey up to the pose. So even if you didn't get into it, keep enjoying that journey and eventually you will get a little bit of fly time. So I'll still see you on the next video. Namaste.